Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Salesforce lead for Google Ads lead. So here, I am managing a digital marketing agency and to promote my business, I am using Google Ads. So I am running an ad campaign on Google Ads and now my objective is that whenever a lead is going to visit my ad campaign, they are going to submit my lead gen form with their details. Directly, that lead should be added in my CRM and that is Salesforce CRM. Now, to automate this entire process, we will just have to set up the connection connection between Google Ads and Salesforce and that we are going to do without any coding and any programming skills simply with the help of Pabli Connect. So for your business if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for that let me take you all towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video I am going to show you step by step that how we can automatically add Google Ad Leads to Salesforce. So here I am managing a digital marketing agency to promote my business I am using Google Ads. So I am running an ad campaign on my Google Ads and also for generating the leads for capturing the leads i have created a lead gen form to connect with my leads so here i have selected the fields such as name email phone number company name and the city in my lead gen form and i want that as soon as an interested lead is going to visit my website when they will be interested in any of my services they are going to fill up this form with their details such as their name their email their phone number and then automatically that lead should be added in my Salesforce CRM so that further I will be able to follow up with the leads. I will be able to connect with them with their inquiries. I will be able to provide them the services catalogs and the offers which I'm providing. And in this way, I will be able to convert these leads easily into payable customers. Now to automate this entire process, I will have to set up the connection between Google Ads and Salesforce. And that I'm going to do without any coding and any programming skills simply with the help of Pabli Connect. So let's get started quickly. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button. It will help you to create a free new account just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you're going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create our automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And to save these workflows separately, we can also create separate folders like this. Now, to create a new workflow, let's click on this Create Workflow option. As we have done that, a dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let me provide a name over here. Create Salesforce lead for Google Ads lead. Okay, so after giving the name to my workflow, then I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save it. So the automation which I'm going to create is related to lead management. So automations for lead management will be my folder. Now let's click on create. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us. The screen contains two extremely important windows. We have trigger and actions. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now, let's suppose I want that as soon as a new lead will be received through Google Ads, that lead should be directly added to Salesforce CRM. So for that, I'm going to take Google Ads in trigger and Salesforce in my action step. When we are going to build the connection between these applications, we will see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the lead is received through Google Ads, then only that lead will be added to Salesforce, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us start creating our automation step by step. To start with the process, first of all, we have to select our trigger application that will be Google Ads. After selecting the application, then we have to select the trigger event. On the happening of which event in your Google Ads, you want to capture the response. So I want that when a new lead form entry will be made in Google Forms by a new lead, when the form will be submitted, then I want to capture the response. And with that response, instantly my workflow should start. So for that, we have to build the connection between Google Ads and Pabli Connect. And you can see we have received a webhook URL for that. And here we have to follow the given instructions step by step and carefully to insert this webhook URL inside our Google Ads. Now, this webhook URL is then going to act as a bridge for transferring the data of every new form submission towards Pabli Connect. 
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स कॉपी द वेब ऑफ क्यू आर एल एंड देन आई विल टेल यू एक्जैक्टली वॉट यू आर सपोज टू सो दिस इज माई फॉर्म विच आई हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर जनरेटिंग द लीड्स आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग योर फॉर्म आफ्टर एडिंग द फील्ड विच यू वॉन्ट इन द फॉर्म यू जस्ट हैव टू स्ट्रोल डाउन एंड देन यू विल फाइंड द ऑप्शन ऑफ लीड डिलीवरी सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दैट अंडर इट हियर यू विल फाइंड द ऑप्शन ऑफ वेब ऑफ क्यू आर एल सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू पेस द वेब ऑफ क्यू आर एल इन साइड दिस ऑप्शन इन दिस फील्ड एंड नाउ यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ की सो जस्ट नेम द वेब बुक अकॉर्डिंग टू द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वर्क फ्लो सो लेट से I am going to give the name as new leads. Now, because I am using a test campaign currently in my Google Ads account, I could not send the response of a real lead towards Babli Connect. Therefore, I will just click on Send Test Data so that the test response could be captured inside Babli Connect, and we can test whether our connection is successful or not. But in your case, in the similar manner, you have to build this connection by adding the webhook URL and the key name. And as soon as you will do that, the connection will be successful. Then, whenever a new lead will be received, a real lead will be received in your. Google Ads by submitting the lead gen form then the response of that lead is going to be captured inside Pabli Connect currently for a test response i am going to click on send test data and as we have done that the test data is sent successfully so let's go towards pabli connect and here you can see that the response is captured so in the response we have received all the details let's start reading them one by one all these details are test details actually because this is a test response here we have the city name we have the email of the lead we have their name their phone number first name last name and all other details this means our connection between google ads and pabli connect is absolutely successful once we have set up the connection now our objective is to create a lead in salesforce for this response so we have to build the connection between salesforce and pabli connect to do that let's go towards our action step and let us select our action application as salesforce then we have to select the action event so our action event over here will be to create a record because we want to create a lead in salesforce let's click on connect for building this connection you can see we have two options add new connection and select existing connection i am already logged into my salesforce account and you also have to keep in mind to log into the applications which you want to connect with pabli connect before only so here if you already have an existing connection just go with that but to create a new connection i'm going to show you what you have to do so you will go towards add new connection you will click on connect with salesforce and now pabli connect is asking us for the permission to access our salesforce account our data is 100% safe with pabli connect so quickly let's click on allow fearlessly and as we have done that the authorization has become successful and the connection between salesforce and pabli connect is built successfully now we have to move forward and enter the details in these fields to create a record or to create a lead first of all we have to select the object which we want to create so i want to create a lead in salesforce so i will go towards lead section so i will select leads then we have to provide the first name last name and other details of that lead and you know we have received the details already in our earlier response in our google ads response so one by one we will map the data and not and we will not enter the details manually mapping is inserting data from previous step here we have received last name of the lead that is this last name i will just insert it from the previous step directly and as i have done that i have mapped this name that means it has become dynamic with each and every new response automatically it is going to replace now so every time a new lead will be captured through google ads automatically the fields are going to replace and new details will appear over here and in this way we are going to automate the entire process but if we will enter the data manually then it will become static and then it is not going to replace and we will not be able to automate the entire process so mapping is very important now in a similar manner let's map the first name if you have to provide any salutation to your lead you can enter the, you can select that but it is not mandatory and also we cannot fix any salutation for any kind of lead so i'm going to ignore this field and i will select it as none if you want to provide a title to your lead you can map that title or you can enter the title as well now i will have to enter the company name which is mandatory so i'm going to enter the company name over here that is a test company if you have received the street or city address just map them otherwise you can ignore this i have received the city so i have mapped that I'm going to simply enter the phone number, and finally I've mapped all the details. Now I'm going to map, and now fin, and now finally I'm going to map the email, and now finally I'm going to map the email. After mapping all the details, now I'm going to directly click on Save and Send Test Request button. and you can see that the response is captured so now i'm going to take you towards salesforce and over here we'll go towards the lead section you can see that the lead is received over here in recent items that is a new lead which we have created and we have all the details of the lead we have the name their email address their phone number all right the city and etc so this means our connection between google ads and salesforce is absolutely successful and now every time a new lead will be received from google ads 
automatically that lead is going to be added in Salesforce. So in a similar manner, you can also very easily create this automation by setting up the connection between Google Ads and Salesforce without any coding and programming skills. I have just taken the example of marketing agency, but, but for any of your business, you can create this automation very easily. And here, because I was using a test campaign, so I have received the response of a test lead. But in your case, you will be receiving the actual leads and the actual leads will be then added to your Salesforce. So I hope this automation is clear to you. Also, it is helpful for your business. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video, and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.